Thank you so much for tuning in, Mr. Mitsubishi here. In today's video, we'll check out this fully, fully loaded, top of the line Canadian spec Eclipse Cross GT. Eclipse Cross is this nice uh, crossover type of uh, vehicle that uh, is very high in demand and it looks really, really cool. I gotta say, it's a sharp looking SUV and uh, a lot of people like it. And this one here is uh, top of the line Canadian spec GT trim level, has all the options in it, so to speak. We'll check out in detail exterior, interior. We'll start up the vehicle, just see how it sounds. It has CVT transmission that's paired with a 1.5 liter four cylinder turbo engine engine so it's a good engine good car an excellent color so this one is white diamond it's a premium uh, color finish and uh, we paired this white diamond with some accessories that we added side moldings and hood emblem and also from the factory if we look at the factory looks uh, it's awesome how it contrasts and I think white diamond is one of my favorite colors on Eclipse Cross I really like this blue uh, octane blue is one of my all-time favorites on this one here we cr deleted the chrome here and we also um, swapped out the wheels so they're a little bit different looking wheels but if we look at this factory looks I really like how this GT because it's a GT you have uh, this grill right here is uh, glossy like this and uh, also the bottom part uh, right here we have nice gloss on the uh, bumper and overall when you step back you can see right now it's a beautiful day we have direct sunlight and we can see how nicely it shines and it looks really nice luxurious and especially with that two-tone we can see it has the uh panoramic sorry not the panoramic has the sunroof and together with these roof rails um tinted windows chrome around uh the uh, uh, windows right there it has a lot a lot of good contrast going on so it's a sharp looking vehicle uh, by the way leave a comment if you are eclipse cross owner driver if you like them uh, maybe leave a comment what exactly you like about the part and again uh, because this is a gt we can see it from this side view really really well that one is uh, eclipse cross es trim level being the GT, all these corner effects are body colored painted, and also these, uh, you know, this side skirt is body colored painted versus uh, plastic on lower trim levels. And this body color painted bumpers and side skirts gives you that extra uh, luxury looks, extra luxury feel. I quite like this Eclipse Cross. Um, all these spoilers, that's already a standard equipment, and this is how it comes from the factory. When it comes to nice contrast in, uh, rear bumper and everything else. We can see how we also have same kind of visual contrast on this uh, from the back perspective here. And uh, it's also nice and glossy. So really, really cool. Well, so we do have super all wheel control on this one. Happy to see that. Love those Eclipse uh, Cross side moldings. And also we have Eclipse Cross hood emblem. Okay, let's have a look at inside of the vehicle. Let's see what kind of options uh, we can find in it. Um, it does have a key that looks like this. So this key, uh, we can see that there's three buttons, lock, unlock, and for the trunk. So the trunk used to be manual trunk, but for 2024, we have power trunk um, and we can open it quite conveniently. No more manual lock uh, open and close for the trunk. Of course, if you want to unlock the vehicle, you can either do it with your key or with this button right here that unlocks the vehicle. Interior is really nice in Eclipse Cross. When it comes to fully loaded GT, you have uh, two options, white interior or this black interior. Uh, white on white looks awesome. White on black looks really cool too. As we can see, it's, uh, it's nice. I really like the interior design of this uh, Eclipse Cross. Uh, the steering wheel is nice, has these you know glossy uh, elements that jump, jump out as a, you know, a bit of a luxury touch um, and has really good, nice, modern um, look to it. So let's jump in and we will start the vehicle. So the button is right here. I like how you have this chrome ring around it. Looks very cool. The system is starting up, says Mitsubishi Motors. And this is what we got. We have the e-brake, we have the shifter, nice big shifter. Uh, we had heated steering wheel. Now that we're moving slowly into the fall and winter season, you'll appreciate that a lot. Of course, we have a heated steering wheel right here. Your chargers right there even has the echo mode uh, for your drives. And for super all-wheel control, as we press this button, we can see we can change it from normal to snow to gravel. So even if we're facing a little bit of a 
uh, difficult uh, road conditions, uh, we can attack those road conditions with this uh, Eclipse Cross. Um, one cool thing this one has, uh, has a lot of these buttons right here. And this one is a uh, head up display. As we press the button, we can see this head up display pops out. It's like a fighter jet. <laughs> That's where they got the inspiration from. And again, uh, the system is starting up, but you can see your speed um, and whatnot over there. So of course we press the navigation. We do have the navigation. Now it doesn't uh, translate the way it does on the Outlander, but still it's a very good, um, head up display for people who enjoy that part um, you can actually use it quite often so we can turn it off here you can adjust the brightness and the angles of it we can see we have forward collision mitigation we have uh, lane keep assist and we have traction control all sorts of uh, safety features um, here we have the uh, button for the uh, trunk uh, I don't know what these are blanks, uh, so there must be something in different markets that they would add here. Uh, there's nothing like that uh, here. Now, this is how the main screen looks. Uh, I quite like the fact that uh, it's a bit of an old school vibe as well. So you do have these um, analog dials and then you have this display that it's not as sharp as crisp as it is on the Outlander. It's a little bit uh, kind of like, you know, um, more... Uh, you know old school looking, but I quite like it. So I, I, I don't mind that we're mixing this modern with a bit of old school together um, I'm I'm okay with that just like we're doing that with the uh, RVRs uh, same thing. So it's a good mix of uh, um, Of everything. So here we have uh, the sunroof and it's a dual um, Panel roof. So we have this cross beam right here. What we can do is we can open uh, here the shade separately and then this part right here is controlled by this button right here so let's see it there we go we can open this separately now this part does not open only this part will open but you can control the shade do whatever you want whatever your passengers uh, feel comfortable doing so the seats i gotta say they're comfy i quite like this uh, seating position i feel good in it uh, i like it the visibility is excellent um in the mirrors we have blind spot information system as well we can see the little car symbol right there i don't know it's hard to see kind of but uh, it's all there let's check out the uh, second row and then we'll have a look at the trunk space as well it's quite important to see the trunk space okay let's unlock entire car there we go now for the seats, this is how the second row looks. Uh, we do have um, manual, uh, this recline adjustment. So depending on how many passengers you have and whatnot, uh, you can find your uh, perfect position. Also depends if you have any cargo area in the back or, or not. So, and this one here, we can use it as an armrest and we have two coffee holders, uh, cup holders right here. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm about six foot two tall, and then I feel really, really good in, in, the, in the car right now, um, especially now that I folded these uh, seats, uh, reclined them all the way back, uh, feel very good. And again, I can change that all I want. And here we have this uh, switch right now that we can open and close the shade. We can see the sun is right there, very, very bright. It's too bright, let's close it down. We can do whatever we want. Another neat option that you have is these uh, heated uh, seats in the back. Not too long ago, any type of heated seats was uh, reserved for only very, very high-end vehicles. But now even on the Eclipse Cross, you have heated seats in the back seats. That is very, very cool. Um, I quite like the, uh, the comfort of this uh, armrest. Uh, if you don't have many passengers driving with you, this is going to be very, very handy. Um, it enhances the... Uh, the comfort of the passengers and of course that manual recline that's something to keep in mind because a lot of times people just overlook that option and then uh you know you sacrifice a little bit of uh, comfort okay so let's open the uh trunk we'll see how it looks uh okay let's press the button there we go oh Okay, this is how we're looking. We have these buttons right here. So this is uh, just to close the trunk. This one, if the vehicle would shut off, be shut off, like the engine would not be running, 
we can just press this button and that'll close the tailgate and lock the vehicle and then we can just walk away by pressing one button we don't need to lock it very convenient this is how we're looking in the back of course from the factory we do have floor mats coming in and let's see what's underneath here and it is a pretty big spare tire spare tire is something that everybody seems to be missing on the outlander and phev on eclipse cross you have it right there if you want to and again these seats you can fold them down uh, this cargo cover you can use it as a cargo cover or you can also take it out fully if you don't uh, want it so let's close the uh, tailgate goes down up with good speed so it's not slow anything like that um, i like that that's uh it's good speed right there okay there we go we just checked out this beautiful eclipse cross gt canadian spec fully loaded white platinum super nice contrast with black and everything else really really nice vehicle so i hope you liked it as much as i did and see you in next videos